Hello, and thank you for joining joining me again. Um, today, we are going to paint a, uh, going to be off from the ground. We're going to paint a spider plant. And there'll be a, a lot of green coming out. And then there'll be one lonely bamboo uh, shoot coming up. So it's actually just outside the window here. Uh, I may or may not take a picture of it, but um, we're gonna just gonna have some fun. So there'll be a lot of greens. Um, and uh, so let's uh, first take a look at the colors we're gonna, gonna use and then we'll get painting. All right, so let's take a look at uh, the colors we're gonna use today. So first of all, we're going to, once again, use this uh, white gesso to put it on the background to help give us a uh, more like a watercolor smooth feel uh, for it. Um, we're going to be using uh, nutmeg, a brown, for the for the ground. We're going to be using uh, straight black for some of the branches. Uh, it's called Mars, Mars Black. Uh, and then we're going to use three greens. So I've got a fluorescent green, I got a yellowish green, and then I've got a medium green here. So let me use these three. As far as the brushes go, we're going to work with, uh, first of all, this big one, just to get our gesso on there. Um, and then I'm going to tr use uh, kind of a meat, like a between small. So I got a, I got a larger brush, which I'll use this one to do maybe the bamboo with. And then I'm going to use these which are all similar kind of in size, uh, which will be for the various um, leaves that I'm gonna put in. And then finally, some sharper uh, detailed uh, brushes here. So nothing really in particular. Um, I'm just gonna kind of mix and match and kind of, kind of use them as we go. All right, so we're gonna get started. Uh, so right here, I got my white gesso. Then I got my uh, Green, regular green, yellow green, brown, black. And that's what we're going to start with. See how it goes. Maybe add a color or two as we go. So first of all, we're going to do, uh, which for me is one of the fun parts. I'm going to paint this all white with the gesso. So this is something, you know, I just kind of learned it. I just kind of discovered this in a way. I kind of was watching a Bob Ross video. And, you know, I kind of started thinking about, you know, they were doing all this, uh, you know, they, they put this white on it, which then allows him to really manipulate uh, how these uh, colors go. And then I thought to myself, you know, when you're working with Sumi and the um, watercolors, this is not a bad idea to kind of mimic how the watercolors work. And so, I need a little bit more here. Um, so I tried it out. I was very happy with the results, and so you keep doing it. You just keep working with it, um, just having fun, of course. Uh, remember, painting is just something that you do, and if you like it and you enjoy it. Well, what else does matter? What else matters, really? All right, let's get, get, these, uh, get this nice and uh, nice and covered with this gesso white. And this again is it's gonna help. It's gonna help our, oh, lost a pin there. It's gonna help our acrylics kind of move. Ooh, so I've got a, looks like I've got a hair. Come on up there, you. Come on, time to go. Like one of my brush hairs. All right. There we go. All right, I got that gesso on there. And just go pick up this, um, So let's first, uh, we're gonna put a little bit of brown on the bottom here. This will be, this will be our ground. Um, and uh, for this, you know what? I think I am, okay, here we go. So we're gonna switch it up. I'm gonna switch it up. I'm gonna get a little bit bigger brush here. 
Okay, so I'm just gonna load this up with the brown. Making a little sandy brown ground. And there's that dirt where our little plants are going to live. So, that's for that. See, see how nice that, see that white jessa does? Just makes us look so good. Okay. All right. So, there's our ground. At this point, Let's go ahead and we'll make that bamboo stalk. Now, previous uh, videos kind of made the bamboo a little bit heavy, right here, a little bit strong. Now, this time we don't have to push so hard. We can actually use a thinner brush and kind of make it a little bit more narrower. So for that, I think what I'm gonna do for this one, for this bamboo, All right, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna use this one. And I'm gonna come, I'm just gonna come straight up like this. So it's just a one solitary bamboo. All right, I'm gonna use the medium green for this. All right, let me get this loaded up. So remember our technique, we're gonna uh, start from the ground. We're gonna go a little bit, we're gonna make a counterclockwise a little so we're just gonna push a little bit make a circle lift back lift move a hair back circle continue little circle lift back little circle start again so there'll be a real small um little spaces in between that gives us the color so we're gonna start this bamboo we'll start him right here and so he's gonna go like his All right, now, come out of the ground here. Oh, there we go, we'll work on that base a little bit. So, now we got that, so great, there's our bamboo. So now we're gonna work on the spider plant. Now, with the spider plant, what we wanna do is, um, here, let's grab another brush. Let's, uh, we're gonna mix in, so what we're gonna do with this spider plant, let's, let's take a little bit of this, um, <laughs> it's a, it's a, what in the heck was that? Uh, not the yellow green. Fluorescent. Take the fluorescent green. Gosh almighty. And we're going to mix it in with this base. Uh, just a little bit. Just a, just a tad. All right. Now we'll mix it in. All right. So we're mixing that in with, the, with our base green. So now what I want to do with this is we're gonna start and it's gonna go from heavy and then we're gonna lift up the brush as we go, jeez. So I'm gonna make this base right here. So I'm gonna make, so we're gonna start off, right? Cause it's right here's where our base is. So we're gonna, we're gonna push down and then we're gonna lift, lift the brush, lift it up like that, okay? So pushing down, lifting, 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 okay, good. Pushing down and then lifting, 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 making it smaller and smaller. That's good. Yeah, let's grab a little more. Okay. Pushing down. Lifting, 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 lifting. Okay. Like it. This one a little bit more pounds, okay. Like that, nice. All right, I think that's good. I think it's good. All right, so here's our little spider plant now with our bamboo coming up. Now, our bamboo plant is going to have its own leaves. So, oh, since we're here, let's go ahead and put them in. Uh, what I think I'll do 
is we'll put them we'll put some we'll put some bamboo we can never be coming down right so we'll put it here and then we'll put some right in here okay uh, not a lot so now let's uh okay let's grab some more of this big screen okay what we're gonna do is for these bamboos we're gonna mix in this uh yeah let's drain so just put that back in there okay off you go thank you all right now So now we're going to grab yellow screen. All right, so mix it in here. Grab base green. Grab a little more. Okay. So remember, bamboos come down. So, it's, so now it's the opposite. Where we're going to come down as we lift. So we go pushing down and lifting up. Pushing down and lifting up. Pushing down. And Good. And then we'll just kind of top off this. And that's a, another little, little guy right here. And another little guy right there. Okay, good. And then I like that. I like the way that works at the yellow screen. Okay, let's put one right here. So pushing down, lifting up. Okay, pushing down, lifting up. That's terrible. Pushing down, lifting up. All right, that was awesome. Remember, it's a little bit. Not need a, don't need a whole lot. Nice. Okay. So, at this point. Oh, you know me. I love cherry blossoms. <laughs> Why don't we do some cherry blossoms? I think we've got some space. Maybe a little cherry blossom branch coming out. Oh gosh, I'm such a creature of habit, aren't I? Okay. So we're gonna put some cherry blossoms. We'll put them right in here because it's got some empty space and a little foot branch. But that, but before we forget, let's go ahead and make our bamboo branches coming out. So we're gonna need one coming up like we're gonna need one coming up like this, and then another one coming out there. So I should have probably done that first, but I wonder what we're going to do. Okay, so we'll get some black loaded up here. All right, so we're going to have you land. We're going to start you right here. Just going to come up. Okay. Okay, just like that. Okay. Now, hey, you know what? Let's put one a little bit more. Put one up here. Okay. All right. So, got some branches there. Not too bad, not too bad. And now let's make our. Uh, All right, and now I remember painting can't do with a cherry blossom. <laughs> All right, so we got a, we got a low hanging uh, tree branch here, not a big one, just a small one. It's coming in like this, and then we got a couple of little guys like that, and then a couple other smaller ones. All right, and this will give us a, a reason to put some cherry blossoms on there. <laughs> All right, so while we're while we're waiting, let's um, just have a thought, and that is we could use some grass now to do some grass. What's really nice to use if you have it is one of those 
fan brushes. Fan brushes. And you know what? I don't think I got one. So not everybody does. That's okay. Because I can use uh, this one. So this one, be a fan. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the paint on the tip and then I'm going to touch it along our along our base. So just grab, I'm going to grab this green, what's left of it. Okay, and I'm going to just put a little, little touch of the yellowish green. And then I'm going to just kind of go like this across our, across our ground. Or grass. All right. Nice. Okay. So let's get over to. Let's now look at. Um, so, of course, I want to put in some cherry blossoms. So, I think we all know now we need a little bit of a red. So, I think I'm going to use this time. So, I'm going to use this sassy. <laughs> so, sassy light magenta got sassy so we'll put the sassy light magenta in so all right all right we're back so load up the brush okay we will come over here and make some blossoms one right here one right here How about one right here? There. Just a little blossom there. No right to be. <laughs> Start painting what you want, we want. All right, let's put one right there. Okay. And then I'll just put a couple like uh, blossoms that were coming. So I'm put one there. I'm going to put one there. Put one here. Maybe a little bit in here. Okay. All right. Oh, we've got some cherry blossoms in the picture now. Um, awesome. Let's get, uh, let's start doing our uh, black touch ups. Here, our, our black brush now. Maybe we'll go with a, a little bit thinner. Real nice and real nice and tight and thin. So some black on that. Um, what I'm going to do is first is work on the work on the bamboo. So we'll, we'll kind of cut these in. Now I'm going to use this other black brush for my for my dots. And okay, first we're going to put a couple. Yeah, let's cut that dry a little bit. There we go. I'll just put in some random uh, spuds now. Say wait a minute, I just smashed the brush. There we go, much better. Okay. And right here. You know what? On these ones, I'm gonna put some green spuds. Little 
springtime, things are gonna start blooming. Okay, back, back to our um, need to fix our touch ups. All right, so back with the sharp one. Okay, so we've got the bamboo done, right? So now let's, uh, let's see, let's work on, let's work on these. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of come up, kind of come up the middle just a little bit, just to help a little bit of definition here. I'll tell you what, sometimes you would think like using a a sacrilege. I'm gonna say use a uh, black Ooh. marker. <laughs> but, uh, oh, I've thought about it. Occasionally, I've done it. What? You kidding me? Okay. Yeah, we'll do it anyway. There we go. Okay. So, and then. Just like we did with the bamboo, let's throw, throw some dots in here. A little spider plant was growing real happy. In the ground, he was once, a, once hanging on parent and then just broke off and fell on the ground and decided he was just going to grow right there. That's actually what happened outside. Oh, keep them watered. Okay, awesome. Now we're going to do the same thing with the bamboo leaves. We're going to just come, just going to come down. All right, so. Sometimes I just, I just want to, oh gosh, my right hand so bad. All right, let's work on our, okay, now our, our on the spot added uh, little petals here. Or so let's, let's first thumb. Got some dark dots. There we can. Little flicks. Try not let the bush fall heavy like I did there. Little black petals. I was uh, thinking a little bit more, planning a little bit better. Maybe I could throw a bird in here. <laughs> but no, I think, uh, I think we got what we uh, came to do. A little reflection of a uh, spider plant growing in the yard right next to a bamboo. Hope you enjoyed uh, the session and we'll see you again next time.